Ali, my name is Shiri Chibana and I'm the Micronesia Challenge intern from Palau. The Micronesia Challenge is a commitment to effectively conserve 30% marine resources and 20% terrestrial resources by 2020. This was an agreement launched in 2006 by Palau, CNMI, Marshall Islands, Federated States of Micronesia, and Guam to protect the natural resources of our region. Palau, or rather Belau, is located in the region of Micronesia. Being a collection of tiny islands in the Pacific, we are surrounded by jewel-toned seas that contain many underwater wonders. Our lands are our mothers, satisfying our bellies with taro and tapioca and raising coconut trees that give us life. These are our riches. These are our inheritance. In this internship, I learned what Palau was doing to reach the Micronesia Challenge goals. I first visited the Ngardok Lake in Palau, which is the largest freshwater lake here in Micronesia. The lake's volume is estimated to be 34 million gallons of water. Ngardok Lake was one of the first PAN sites ever established here in Palau. The Protected Areas Network, or PAN, was created to protect and conserve Palau's rich biodiversity. This effort is state-driven, holding communities responsible to manage their own natural resources. Ngarok Lake is valued for its history and cultural importance. During times of dry season and drought, the lake proves to be very reliable to its local state community as well as providing water for the whole island. The reason why the pan management is so successful in our communities is simply because it is a direct parallel of our traditional bull. Bull would be established by the chiefs of a village and it would act as a temporary restriction to our resources when we would notice them being overused. Bull has preserved the livelihoods and has strengthened food security for the people of Palau for generations. To manage ourselves, we refer back to our traditional ways, our traditional knowledge. Pan and its management is just one of those many great examples. We now have evidence to show that terrestrial pan sites such as Ngardok Lake are healthy in that there are more variety of birds. There are decreases to illegal or destructive activities and increased job opportunities for the people of Palau. What terrestrial efforts work in your community? What can you do in your communities to support the Micronesia Challenge and PAN efforts?